Greetings, everyone, and to the saints of the Most High God. You now listen to the whole truth program coming to you from the sanctuary of the church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, where Bishop Joseph Tisdale is pastor and general overseer. Now let's bow our heads in prayer and meditations as we're led by Minister Ishmael. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we want to thank you for this day. My God, we want to thank you for another opportunity. My God, to get a little closer to you. We pray, dear Father, God, that we bless the word as it go forth this day. My God, to be power and demonstration of the Spirit. My God, it may turn the hearts of men everywhere. My God, from the ways of my God of sin unto life. My God, relies in Lord God indeed is life. My God, relies in Lord God, you made one way for all the human family to. My God, we pray to you, Lord God, to give them a mind to repent of their sins, Lord God, a mind to be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, a mind to call upon your mighty name until you fill their soul with the gift of the Holy Ghost. Lord God, a mind to live before thee. My God, in this present evil world, a holy and sanctified life among all men. My God, we pray to you, in the name of Jesus Christ that I will bless all men in every condition, Lord God, the sick and the shed in. My God, those who have all manner of problems and look to thee and be saved. We pray these best of all the blessings in the name of Jesus Christ, the glory of God. Amen. Again, you're listening to the whole truth program. If you have any questions or comments concerning the Bible, you may mail your correspondence to the Church in the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostles Doctrine Incorporated, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale, Post Office Box 2017. Hartsville, South Carolina, 29551. You can also call our toll-free number at 1-877-332-5661. You can also visit our website for additional church information, such as beliefs and cardinal events, as well as audio sermons preached by Bishop Tisdale. Our official website address is www.thechurchin.org. Now, this time the choir will render a selection entitled Blessed Assurance. This is my song. It is indeed an honor to present unto you the man of God, our pastor and general overseer, Bishop Joe C. Tisdale. We are thankful and do give praises and honor always to our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who is still on the right hand of the throne of God. We do greet all of our viewers and our listeners, the saints of God throughout the entire world. Amen. We do greet you again with much love, joy, and peace. May it be multiplied unto the entire world. Yeah. Because our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ died for all men. Yes, he did. He bared the sins of the human family. Mm -hmm. We could not do it alone by ourselves. So the Lord, God Almighty, decided 
that he would come himself. 1 Timothy 3 and 16. See, God did this. Men having confusion now, like they don't know what to do. They don't know what to say. So they say the things that fulfill their desire. Man. But the word of God tells us what to say. Yes, sir. Tells us what to do. Amen. So we are not confounded. We know what we should do. Because God has already done what it took to save the human family. I see he look and he wanted it. Oh, yeah. And he found no one to uphold. None to uphold. So his own arm brought salvation unto him. Oh, yes. Oh, Isn't yes. this a wonderful God? Amen. Amen. He did it alone by himself. <laughs> he treaded the wine press mm -hmm. alone. Amen. He did it all for the human family to be saved. Amen. No need men come in here now and put their own manner of way of living. They say for God. It's already written. Amen. But you have to be a believer mm -hmm. with faith to get it out of God. You might see it, but you can't proceed. Hear it, but you don't understand. Why? You haven't done it according to the will of God. Bless the Lord. But when we do it according to the wills of God, we are pleased and very thankful unto the Lord that God bless whomsoever he will. Have mercy on whomsoever he will. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm not complaining with you. I'm satisfied at the way that you've given the human family. Why? He done something for us. When men couldn't do it upon the earth, look and wonder, couldn't find anybody to do it. So God decided to make himself a body. But mine own arm brought salvation. Isn't that something? That's right. He decided to make himself a flesh body. Uh -huh. Partakers of flesh as we are. Yes. To come to the world and condemn, amen, the devil mm -hmm. on the devil's turf. Surely. Jesus came in and took over. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Word. What is that, Rita? 1 Timothy 3 and 16. All right. And without controversy. See, there's no need of complaining now. God have fixed things before the foundation of the world. It's no need of you getting at somebody and don't understand, amen, what you're saying, what you're doing. And you're going to condemn someone that God has sent? You can't do that. God was manifested flesh. Yeah. He came to the world to do a job, and it has been done, and he's took that body of flesh and bones, no blood. No blood. It was a glorified body. That's right. Blood is the life of the flesh. So when we go or we die, we be resurrected, we're not going to have any blood in us because we're going to live by the Spirit. Amen. Is that what Jesus Christ lived by when he got that glorified body? Amen. Living off of the spirit. He lived it when he was here because he was God. Is that right? Amen. God was manifested flesh. What people complaining about? And guess what? <clears throat> Second Timothy 2.19 tells me, mm -hmm. and that takes all the worries out of me. Mm -hmm. When I look at this scripture here, I, I don't have any complaining to do. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. I don't have to be angry with you like you've done something to me. You can't do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. That's it. Is that right? That's it. Doesn't matter how man say, you can't condemn nobody. 
by your ways and your actions. Is, is that right? What did it say, Rita? 2 Timothy 2 and 19. All right. Nevertheless, I want you to listen at the word now. You won't be so sour-hearted. You won't have so much hatred in you against any human being. You do like the word say, bless and curse not. Amen. Because God already have this thing fixed. Amen. Is that right? Man, I'm happy in God. I'm joyful in God because God have it fixed already. Is yeah. that right? And God know those that belong to him. He knows. Amen. There shouldn't be any complaining here now. We shouldn't be arguing and complaining. God was manifest his flesh to bear our sins, to prove to the human family that we could live righteous. He give us all the tools for it. Yeah. What did it say, Rita? Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Do you hear the word here now? Having this seal. This the seal we should have because when we have the seal, we're not supposed to go around sinning. Amen. Because we are sealed with the seed of God. Is that right? Amen. What did it say, reader? Having this seal. What? The Lord knoweth them that are his. Now, why are we complaining? Why is man trying to condemn another man? Is that right? I can't condemn anybody, but the word can condemn me. And if I preach the word, amen, that's the word doing the job. I can't do it. Amen. I have to save myself. Is, is that right? Amen. We have to save ourselves in the name of the Lord. Sure Calling on that name. If you don't call that name, you can't be saved. Cannot. Because that's the name of God that was manifested flesh. That's his name. Amen. You can't condemn this. God wasn't manifested flesh, amen, and didn't have a name. The name, he had to show us, amen, everybody have a name, you know. Make a distinction here. We have different names, is that right? Amen. I don't care if you have a name like another person, God knew who you are. And when God called you by your name, you know God is calling you. What does it read him? Nevertheless, the foundation of God standeth sure. Yes. Having this seal. Do what? The Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone. Let everyone. That nameth the name of Christ. That nameth. You, you think you belong to Christ? Depart from iniquity. All right. Stop doing wrong. Amen. Stop telling lies. Amen. Amen. Stop being a hypocrite. Right. Is, is that right? Amen. Be faithful in the Lord. Because you belong to God, and we're supposed to walk by faith. Holy. Is that right? Amen. God wants us to walk by faith. If we are the children of God, we see a lot of things seem like it's not, you know, seasonable as it should be to us, but we have faith that will move the mountains. Amen. Move the trouble. Yes. But it, guess what? It come right back to you. Mm -hmm. It just go around. Might get rid of it for a while, but it's, it, it's gonna come right around and come back to you again, because we have help in the midst of our trouble. Yeah, our help is in the name of the Lord. Yes, it is. All my help in Him. Is that right? Oh yeah. Now that word is right. What did it say, reader? <clears throat> Having this seal. What? The Lord knoweth them that are His. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ All right. depart from iniquity. Now, depart from doing wrong, mm -hmm. iniquity. That's right. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Get away from it. Yeah. Is that right? Amen. Get away from it. Say, what do I get away from? It's, right, it's written in the word. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Galatians 5 and 19. Mm -hmm. Th this, this is what you're supposed to get away from. That's right. If you're doing any of these things, anything like it, you, 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 you had to get away from this. Yeah. You want to know what you should get away from? Here it go. What did it say? Now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these. This is what's manifest in you. If you don't have 
God. That's right. This is what is manifest in our flesh. Surely. But we need the spirit to guide and lead us. And Lord. get away from these things. Amen. If you belong to God, what the word say, read it. Get away Amen. from it. Depart from it. All right. Galatians. 519. What does it say? Adultery. Do you hear what the word say? Don't act like you don't know what adultery means. Is that right? Amen. You ought to know what it means. Amen. You're going to bed with somebody's wife or husband. Now that puts you out the kingdom of heaven. That you're supposed to lay that aside now Amen. if you belong to God. Amen. That's what the word say. Amen. What it say, read it, read on. Fornication. All right. You fornicators out there, the Bible speaks about fornication. Tell us to flee that. Yeah. Then people don't want to hear the word preach it, and it's written in the scriptures. Oh, yeah. Man. According to the apostles' doctrine, it's already written. And they don't want to hear it like it's wrong. You think it's wrong because that's what your flesh wants to do. That's right. But that's the works of the flesh. That's something will cause you to be lost. If you're doing these things, the Bible said depart from iniquity. Is that yeah. right? What you depart from? Adultery, fornication. Uncleanness. Uncleanness. Lasciviousness. Lasciviousness. Idolatry. Idolatry. Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Hatred. Hatred. Variance. Variance. Emulation. Emulation. Wrath. Wrath. Strife. Strife. Sedition. Sedition. Heresies. Heresies. Envying. Envying. Murders. Murders. Drunkenness. Drunkenness. Rebelling. Rebelling. And such like. Anything like these things. He didn't say what I'm doing, but if it's like these, same thing. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The word already got it. Yeah. And what did it say, read it? Of the which I tell you before. What? As I have also told you in time past. All right. That they which do such things. What? Shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That meaning you don't belong to God. Oh, That's right. But if we belong to God, we come up from these works of the flesh. From it. You can't do it. Well, I, 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 I want to. Well, go ahead. When you are dumped in hell fire, we're weeping and gnashing of teeth. Once you get dumped in hell, God not coming in and pull you out of that. Isn't that something? No way out. We seeking not to go there. Because once, if God say, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity, I don't know you, you can't come to heaven with me. That's right. Wherever he is, we won't be there. Amen. Is that right? Amen. God have a place. My God and God fix a go. You know, when God fixed something like this, yeah. you can't get across. It. Is that right? God's going to put a guff, as the word say. That's right. That men, you won't be, you can look up at heaven, but you won't be able to go. Can't pass. Is that what it say, really? Luke 16 and 26. You won't be able to pass through that. See, God can fix a guff here where no man can go. Over. <clears throat> Is that right? Yeah, what does it say, Rita? And beside all this. What? Between us Between and you, is what? there is a great gulf fixed. Now, how are we going to get over this great gulf? If we don't do what God said, we don't do what the word said. Because he was manifested flesh to tell us what to do. Amen. And showed us in flesh and blood that we can do it. That's right. And, and so I said, I can't do that. Uh, Jesus Christ already condemned sin. In the flesh, flesh and blood, he condemned it and tempted in all points. Yeah, my God, we let one little temptation cause us to be lost. But here comes Jesus, was tempted at all points. That's right, Amen. yet without sin. Yeah, without it. Nobody can say he sinned <coughs> and tempted in all points. That's right, hey, amen. Is that right? Yeah. And the devil get us with one little temptation, mm -hmm. two little temptations. Amen. Here, Jesus got all of it. Amen. And the Bible says, yet without sin. Yet without it. I can pull up on Jesus Christ. I can follow him because he knows the way. Amen. He, he knows how to live holy. Amen. He knows how to live free from sin. Amen. He knows it. Oh, yeah. Is that right? What does it say, Rita? 
And beside all this, between what? us and you, there is a great gulf fixed. A great gulf fixed. So that they which would pass from hence to you. What? Cannot. You can't pass. Once, once a person is cast in hell fire, you will never get out of there. Amen. But guess what? You can be living in this world and living in sin. You have an opportunity to change and go with God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, yes, while, me, while you're not in that gulf. Amen. On the other Amen. side. Amen. Amen. Is that right? That's right. That's what God pleading to us now. Pleading to us. To come on. Come to me. Yeah. Amen. Look unto me and be saved. We can be saved through Jesus Christ. Sure, sure. The devil is a liar. I know we can live holy. Amen. Amen. He causing people to deceive it. causing people to commit adultery and fornication. All these works of the flesh. Amen. And they're going around saying, I can't help myself. Mm. Yes, you can through Jesus Christ. Amen. Is that right? Amen. He can do all things. We don't have to be these things that are works of the flesh. We can be, we can have the fruit of the spirit. Because if you do these things, we're not going to get in there. Amen. I don't care if it's your mom and your dad and your grandmom and your great, 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 great. I don't know how far that went back, but won't be saved. That's scripture, you know. Amen. We have to do the will of God. And that's to everybody. Amen. And if I, if I belong to Christ Jesus, I'm supposed to depart from iniquity because God knows who his people are. Oh, yeah. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Amen. Is that what it said, Rita? Amen. He knows it. Is that right? Amen. You shouldn't be angry with me. I shouldn't be angry with you. Mm -mm. I shouldn't hate you for something you say. Man. God is the only lawgiver. He is the only one that's going to cast people in hell fire. God not going to pay any of us any attention. Man. The Bible says when he judge, he's going to judge in righteousness. In righteousness. Is, is that right? Amen. He's going to judge in righteousness. Then we're going to shut up. We won't have anything to say to God. Oh, no. God knows everything. And if we don't do right while we're here, we don't follow the apostles' doctrine while we're here, forget about all these different names of religious ways yeah. that men have in the world. Men decide to make their own manner of way to live for God. And now he wrote it in a book and he's doing it. But God not looking at that. That's right. Not to save a man. You follow it. When you stand before God and you haven't done his will, he's going to say, depart from me. We, well, we had a road map here. God was manifested flesh. Is that right? Yes. 1 Timothy 3 and 16. That was God. And without controversy. What are we complaining about? Who's right and who's wrong? The word will tell me who's wrong. I can right. preach the word and tell you you're wrong. That's right. Is, is that right? Amen. I can tell you by the word of God. That's the authority of the word of God. You don't need to get in any with the word of God. Because you can't stop this word from coming forth. Oh no! It's going to come forth because God is doing it. Amen. Is that right? Amen. No man can stop God from preaching the word of God. God going to preach it. If a man, he doesn't like it, God going to still preach it. What did it say, Rita? And without controversy, yes. great is the mystery of God. It's a mystery in God. And God was manifest in the flesh. See, God was manifested in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. Justified. The spirit justified. Right. Seen of angels. Seen of angels. Preached unto the Gentiles. And preached unto the Gentiles. Believed on in the world. Believed on in the world. Received up into glory. And he's going back to heaven. God came. And God went back. That's right. And God, God is coming again, the word says. Amen. Yes. Is that right? Amen. The word tells me God is coming again. Amen. Is that right? Amen. Is that son of man and son of God? The word tells me God is coming. Amen. So that takes care of everything, doesn't it? That's, that's all. That takes care of everything. Amen. Is that right? Amen. God is coming. So what you going to get out of that? 
You that blasting about son of man and, 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 and son of God. The word tell me God coming back. Is that right? Amen. Amen. Is that 2 Peter 3? 12 reading? It's somewhere in the word. God is coming. What you going to do about this? God came and was manifested in the flesh. God went back to heaven and God coming back again. Yeah. What you people say about this? Amen. Amen. You cannot get over the words of God. The word of God is too high. Is that right? Yeah. And you can't get a, over it. Amen. Is that right? Yes. Amen. Thank God for that. All right, read it. 2 Peter 3 and 12. Looking All right. For and hasty uh -huh. unto the coming of the day of God. Look at this word now. Uh, and to the day of the coming of who? Unto the coming of the day of God. <laughs> so God... He said, Jesus went up, didn't he? That's right. And, and, and the word said the same. He's coming back in the same manner again. And this word tell me here, God. So Jesus must be God. Oh, yeah. Jesus is God. He said, God coming back. Read right. it again, read it. We have to go. Looking for and hasten unto the coming of the day of God. Yes. Where in the heavens. Coming, coming the, read that a little slow then. <laughs> Looking for. What? And hasting. And hasting. Unto the coming of the day of God. Coming of the day of who? Of God. <laughs> I believe the word. Amen. Son of man coming. Son of God coming. God coming back. Amen. He came, manifested, and he went back, yes. and he's coming again. Surely the so. word said God coming back. To the coming of the day of God. Repent, be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, and you'll have a part with God throughout eternity. May God bless you. Yeah, I've been listening to the whole truth program. Coming to you from the Oh, yeah. Thank God.